this action will be much, much more skillful if you can get all these double techniques down. Top 10 techniques for using double nunchaku. It's very important you've learned all of my single nunchaku techniques. Down below are some videos where you can start learning now. Of course, nunchaku is a Japanese term. In Chinese, we like to call them arjiguen, two section sticks. And so this is a video for shuang arjiguen. Shuang meaning a pair. Shuang xie, shuang kuaitze is chopsticks, and this is shuang arjiguen. Please hit the like button for this video and comment down below. I read all the comments. I've got two different pairs of nunchaku today, corded and chain with ball bearing just to show you guys that all forms of nunchaku are very good. I have some excellent ones you can order down below if it's legal to ship to your state. Our first technique has right side forward and both of the chucks are going to be doing a number one spin that we did earlier together with the single chucks. We talked about in our previous video not trying to be a juggler of the nunchaku and not trying to be fancy schmancy. We're trying to be practical and the whole goal of the nunchaku is self-defense. So when you guys have a single nunchaku, maybe your only technique you need is just to defend your life by smacking in this manner. So for the doubles, we're gonna do that at the same time, trying to smack something out in front of you, bouncing it off your body softly and safely so you're not injuring yourself. This is a training tool. It builds hand-eye coordination. It builds physical strength, mental toughness, but it's also a weapon for self-defense that goes back hundreds if not thousands of years into Japan and China. A farming tool. See how I'm going right on top, left on top, right on top, left on top, switching each time. And this is our first spin with the Shuang RG Gwen, double nunchaku. Try to get 50 to 100, and once you guys get it down, I want you to be practicing this every day. I would suggest using a mouthpiece maybe elbow pads when you're first learning. Our second technique is the opposite of the first one, working in a vertical manner up and down this way. Notice I'm holding the nunchaku halfway or higher toward the eye, toward the cord, so at least halfway. Up and down, up and down. Let's get it going, keeping in mind that we're smacking somebody who's in front of us, self-defense style. So don't keep it in tight toward your body Fan it out, hit the opponent, protect yourself, up and down. I want to hear that sound of it cutting through the air. See how when I go up, it's bouncing off my triceps, safely and softly. And when I go down, I'm killing it. I'm destroying the inertia, I'm killing the momentum, okay? Again, 50 or 100 of these. And once you've got it, practice every day and go to our next technique. The next technique, very important. We're smacking somebody from side to side, like a sword, cutting them. Down in 45, down in 45. With a single nunchaku, we call it number three technique. Cutting downward in 45. Okay, like a tennis racket, backhand, forehand. Like we're volleying at the net, hitting something down. But we have to do this with both chucks. So we're gonna go left on top, right on top, and doing this downward motion and the chucks don't hit together. And it's okay to fan it out. Again, hit the target, hit the opponent who's in front of you. Fan it out. Left on top, right on top. A little bit of wrist play, but mostly your arm. Good rooted stance. This is gonna build that arm strength for those of you who are skinny and have weak joints. You might wanna wear eye protection, mouthpiece, elbow pads when you're first learning. Just get it going smooth and get about 50 or 100 of these. Then go to our next technique. Our third technique left you with the downward cut motion. Our next technique will transition off the legs to an upward cut underneath somebody's chin, left on top, right on top, underneath. Okay, the movement is like this. So now we're hitting the tennis ball up, forehand up, backhand up, or like ping pong, forehand, backhand. Before it was downward slam, downward slam. For four, it's upward hit, upward hit. 
and both chucks at the same time. So left on top, right on top. You might want a helmet for this one. Stay safe. Upward motion, alternating each time. Good solid stance. I'm picturing hitting somebody in front of me under the chin, maybe under the groin or under the elbow. And both of these chucks weigh different amounts and spin differently. So it's also working my brain. I like it. Side note, you can now transition from three to four. Start with three, bank it, go to four, use the arms, go to three, bank it, go to four, etc., etc. I'll see you guys at technique five. Technique five is the attack, so hold them both under your armpits and get in a good solid position. And we're gonna shoot the chuck out and back. If you need help doing this, go to my single nunchaku tutorials down below. Shoot it and back, both at the same time. Bring them back. And try not to miss, you wanna always catch it. I'll go to the front here. Shoot and back. So if the camera lens is my target, I'm hitting it every time, trying to put both chucks on that target. If I turn this way, same thing. I'm not hurting myself and I'm not missing. And I'm creating that whip, that snap you would get with a wet towel, that rat tail. Let's go to the sixth technique. The sixth technique is kind of like the second technique. Only one chuck starts up, one chuck starts down. And we're gonna go into like a high horse sense for this one just for practice. And we're gonna slowly move them in opposite directions in a number two technique manner. This one's all about timing. You wanna get the proper cadence. It takes some practice. Mouthpieces, eye protection, helmets, maybe elbow pads. But, full disclosure, I don't use that stuff because if I get a little bit of a love tap from the nunchaku, that reminds me that my technique needs more work. So I like those little love taps. But of course, you don't wanna get injured seriously. Now, once you have that down, we're gonna add in a curly cue, a flourish, and spin it once, spin it once, like that. You see that? doing an extra flourish in between, just giving us more awareness of our weapons. Smack somebody down, smack them up. Smack them down, smack them up. All right? The other hand doing the same thing, but they're both gonna be doing this technique in different directions. So it's gonna mess with your mind, just like juggling does. So here we go, one up, one down. We're gonna go curly Q, bank it, and so on. You might wanna pause the video here and practice a little bit outside where you're not gonna hurt anybody, and you're not gonna break anything. You can also buy foam nunchuck with the link below, but I don't use those. Those are only for kids. Okay, now that we got this, we're gonna transition to technique number seven. Technique seven is a fighting combination keeping the nunchucks chambered using the base of them, which is a very deadly weapon. This can cut somebody open, give them a big gash. It can knock them out, chip bone, cause them to lose their wind with a gut shot. It's a very powerful area of the nunchaku. So keep them chambered. And I want you guys to take the first hand and block up like you're punching forward. Take the second hand, the rear hand, and do like a hammer fist. You know we've learned a hammer fist before in traditional martial arts? Block up, hammer fist. So take the left hand and kind of jab it into the opponent right there. One, two. I pivot my stance when I do this so my rear leg can follow the nunchuck attack with a good roundhouse kick. Then put it down, spin to the right, and give him one last hammer fist with the right hand. So this combination is right, left, right, with a roundhouse kick and a spin added in. One more time. We go one, two, roundhouse, spin around, boom, hammer fist. 
Let me get a little bit closer to you guys and do it again. We're gonna go one, two, roundhouse, spin, hammer fist. Let me do the same combination from this side and show you guys a different angle. We're gonna go one, two, roundhouse, spin, pow, hammer fist in. And I'll face you guys one time as if you're my opponent. I'm coming right at you. We're going one, two with pivot, roundhouse kick, spin through, boom, hammer fist in. Our eighth technique plays off the eighth technique from our individual nunchaku, which is around the head and waist, around the head and kill. Around the head, waist, around the head, kill the momentum. Okay, that was the single technique. We've got to do this with both hands at the same time, and in my experience, all my students over the years have had a hard time with this one because it hits them in the head. But we're not gonna think about that, we're gonna think about success, positive mental outlook. So with both nunchaku, have them start from the sides, and we're gonna go over the head, around the waist, over the head, and back. Head, waist, head, and back. They really shouldn't smack together, and definitely you should not get smacked. But if you guys are my opponent, I'm trying to hit you in two different locations. Head, elbows, elbows, head. Head, elbows, elbows, head, okay? So it's like a high, middle, middle, high. Okay, it's a high, middle, middle, high. And if we get this down with two hands, it makes one hand much easier. You may never have to actually defend yourself with double nunchaku. But listen, this action will be much, much more skillful if you can get all these double techniques down. All right, let's try it again from the sides. Over the head, body over the head, kill the energy. Let's go for five in a row. I get this down 50 or 100 times and I'll see you guys for number nine. Number nine is my personal favorite because we cover a lot of distance. And I love using my body to enhance the power of my arms. So both nunchaku are right here. Hang them out, but they're on the same side. Notice how my left hand is higher, my right hand is lower, and my right leg is forward. Okay, this is the stance we wanna start in. Left up, right down, right forward. Now, repeat after me. Left, right, left, right. Here we go. Left, right, left, right. Look at that on the other side. Now the right hand is high. The left foot is in front. So now say right, left, right, left. Here we go. Right, left, right, left. Now say left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. Two steps each time. Right, left, right, left. I call this a four cut because we're cutting four times. Okay, we're using the power of our body to enhance the power of that spin. Left, right, left, right. Right, left, right, left. We're looking out there and seeing the person we're having to defend against and fan those nunchaku out. Give them an RJ Gwen. Schwang RJ Gwen. Okay, get this about 50 or 100 times until you're so dizzy you might pass out. And I'll meet you guys back here for the final technique number 10. Our final technique for today is difficult to get down, but once you get it, it's a fun one. We start with the nunchaku right here, and they're closed. Right hand is up, like we're flexing our bicep. Left hand is down, across. Okay, right leg is forward. Now watch. Right left, right. That's it. It's three moves. One more time. Same thing. Right hand up. Right, left, right. Okay, now the other side does it, which means left, right, left. Left, right, left. Back to our original way. Right, left, right. Other side, left, right, left. Do this a thousand times closed, then come back here and open them up. Same action with the open chucks. We're gonna go right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, we're kind of almost cutting down 45 degrees. 
And in my opinion, this looks pretty basic and fundamental. But this is how I teach beginners to do it. And a lot of people don't have good hand-eye coordination, but they're the ones who need the martial arts to get that hand-eye coordination. Not everybody is God's gift to athleticism, but the martial arts, with practice in the martial arts, you can get a lot of athleticism. So after we've got this basic spin down, we make it look more continuous with flow. Okay, watch it, here we go. And we kind of get it out in front of us. So they're still going in a downward 45 degree action, but they're more continuous. And they're all trying to go toward the opponent in front of us. Tornado spin. Downward, downward. If I spin to the side, you guys can really see it. It's the same action that we did before. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. I'm just no longer pausing. Right, left, right, left, right, left. And it's kind of in front using deltoids and grip strength. Keeping the feet flat and power coming from the legs. Get this about 50 or 100 times. If you can do that, then your grip strength and your forearms will be a lot stronger. Thank you for joining me today. Please hit the bell button below and turn on my channel's post notifications so that you'll get notified when my next video comes out. Comment below, I read all the comments. Hit the thumbs up button. You can make your own nunchaku. Please find out what the laws are in your city about nunchaku practice. And if you wanna see some cool ones, I have links down below where you guys can order a pair for yourself. Always show respect to your weapon. And at the end of your practice, try getting in about 10 minutes of meditation or qigong practice I'll see you guys back here for more bow staff and more nunchaku.